In just under two years, I lost three dogs and a husband. A human landed on him and shattered all of his toes. Just having him in my lap is surreal. My service dog doesn't like me. My service dog doesn't want to be my service dog. Hey guys, this is Kelly. Welcome to my channel, Incredible Anyway. This is my pet and service dog update video, my dog update video. This is Benevolence, my service dog, and this is Dash, my pet dog. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about these boys because the last time I was vlogging, I didn't have these dogs at all. When I first started vlogging, I had two dogs, and actually, I had had a third dog pass away August 19th of 2016 when my dog Casper passed away. He was 14 years old. I had rescued him when he was 12. He was a stud dog in a puppy mill. And then we had Zoe who passed away in uh, September of 2017. Giselle was alive and well the last time I was videoing. Giselle was our Ruby Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And Giselle was 11 years old. She had a condition called syringomyelia and also Chiari malformation. She was in severe amount of pain and we decided that we couldn't keep her alive and suffering. The day that we chose for her was July 9th of 2018, just a little bit more than two weeks before my husband ended up leaving. In just under two years, I lost three dogs and a husband. At the time, it was very painful to experience four other beating hearts in the same bed as me. To lose them and just to have me in bed alone, it was a lot of loss. Even before my husband left when Giselle died, I felt her loss acutely and I felt the loss of the other two dogs as well. It was like losing Giselle made me feel like I had lost all three at the same time. It was really, really heartbreaking. I hate to start off on a somber note, but that is why getting these two dogs for me was really incredible. I started on the service dog journey with my application to ECAD, which is the service dog organization that I got benevolence from. ECAD stands for Educating Canines Assisting with Disabilities. ECAD is located in Connecticut. I did a lot of research and I felt like ECAD had dogs that were quality dogs. I couldn't find an organization closer to me in Chicagoland where I was living. I started doing my research in December 2016. I actually submitted my application in January of 2017. My doctors had to complete a part of the application, write a prescription for a service dog. Then I flew to Connecticut which was a vlog, if you remember, and had an interview in Connecticut. They told me that my wait would be around 14 months. My interview was on May 5th, 2017. So 14 months from then would have been summer of 2018. I had to fundraise $25,000. I did over $32,000. They sent me an email saying that I was on the schedule to go to team training in spring of 2018 and that that would be the appropriate time for me to receive an appropriately educated service dog. And that is where I think they made a mistake. They did not put me on the correct place on the waiting list and unfortunately that really you know complicated our expectations as far as when I would get my service dog. I was expecting to go in spring of 2018 and then in the winter of 2017 2018 they said I wasn't going into in the spring of 2018 so I assumed that meant I was going into the next team training and then they let me know I was going to fall team training which I was very surprised about. So my husband left. I lost four souls in my life in less than two years. When I was going through this waiting process for my service dog because I thought it was gonna happen in spring of 2018, when my dog Zoe passed away in September of 2017, we decided to not get another pet dog because we knew I was gonna be getting a service dog and we didn't feel like it would be fair to get another pet dog while getting a service dog. That's why I was without a dog. You know, usually I would make sure that if a dog was gonna pass away that I wouldn't be without a dog. It just, it would be too heartbreaking, especially being chronically ill, being homebound, being alone a lot. My dogs were my companions. You know, I was with those dogs way more than I was ever with my ex-husband. Losing them, losing my husband happened in July 
guy and I'm expecting in the fall that I'm gonna be getting my service dog. It ended up that the dogs that they were planning to place to fall team training were not going to do well because their hips were bad. And so they had to release several dogs and didn't have any other dogs that were ready to be placed then. And that was devastating. It was like another loss. And I just didn't really feel like I could keep facing all these losses. And meanwhile, I was going through a lot of unbelievable things during the divorce process I never expected to go through. My dad said, let's get you a puppy. I was like, no, I don't think a puppy is gonna be the right choice for me because puppies are a lot of, a lot of work. But because I had gotten three dogs, Casper, Giselle, and Zoe from a rescue organization, I said, you know what, let's see if they have any adult dogs. I went to the rescue organization, I reached out to them about a dog, a beautiful black and tan dog that looked very similar to Zoe and they just placed her right before I contacted them. So she said, I have some dogs that I haven't made public on the website, I'd like you to check them out. And Dash was one of those dogs. We don't know his exact age, but when I got him, it was October of 2018. I would say he was about two years old when I got him. So he's probably almost four years old right now. His temperament is just perfect. He was the exact type of dog that I needed for that period of my life because the other dogs that I had, they were rescues and they had all gone through some type of trauma. And because of that, they needed my support and they needed me to rehabilitate them. But I knew I needed a dog that was gonna be really resilient and hadn't gone through trauma. And Dash had gone through a physical trauma. He had been put on a trampoline and a human landed on him because they were jumping on the trampoline with him. Human landed on his right hind foot and shattered all of his toes. So they had to put little pins in all of his toes. The owners refused to pay for the surgery so they relinquished him to the vet and that's how he got placed in a foster home with Cavalier Rescue USA. I had to wait until he got out of his cast because he had the surgery. I met him while he was in the cast. He was living north of Indianapolis and then I was able to officially adopt Dash in October of 2018. Just having him in my lap is surreal. originally Buster and I just could not imagine calling him Buster. I just didn't like that name. Queen Victoria, when she was a little girl, she was isolated from people so that she could be raised to be a monarch. And her only companion was a little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Exact same breed, exact same coloring. They're called tricolor and a male. And her dog's name was Dash. She really, really loved that dog. And I thought that that was a good name. The middle name, I always give my dogs the name of the dog that came before them. So his name is Dash Casper, and I tell him that Casper is his guardian angel all the time because Dash can be kind of mischievous. Well, that did not come out right. <laughs> Dash can be kind of mischievous. He is a leader. I think that if he was a part of like a, a pack of wild dogs, he would absolutely be the leader. He's very adventurous, he's very confident. One, two, go ahead. pretty cool to see because none of my other four dogs that I've ever had as an adult have been like that. He loves to play. <laughs> Hi buddy, are you happy? very easy going, he's very resilient. He's not a sensitive dog, which was really good because I was doing a lot of grieving. He was able to cuddle with me and love me, but also not 
take my emotions personally. Dash was my sweetheart, and when I went to go to team training, I was so nervous that Dash was gonna think that I was abandoning him because I was gone for three weeks. My service dog doesn't like me. My service dog doesn't want to be my service dog.